All right, guys, uh, welcome to our series, After God's Heart. We're looking at David, why he was called a man after God's heart, and how we can become people uh, called after God's heart. This is the seventh, and if you have a Bible, uh, turn to 1 Samuel 27 to 29. Uh, some of you are in sunny days. This is called uh, Cloudy Days, Dark Nights. Uh, I realize some of you aren't in cloudy days and dark nights. You're in sunny days. Things are going really well for you. But others of you are probably in cloudy days and dark nights. Um, I've learned it's pretty important to talk about cloudy days a lot because many people are facing tough times. So share with your group. Uh, just stop for a moment and share, are you in a sunny time or are you in a dark time? Uh, and, uh, and, and why? And just, just give a little bit about that. Okay, go for a couple minutes. All right, so David uh, had some sunny times as a man after God's own heart, but he also had some dark times, some cloudy times. And in 1 Samuel 27, we're getting into some of his uh, dark times. So what led to his difficult times? Uh, a few things. He was weakened by uh, disobedience. Uh, David uh, went to Gath again. He, he woke up and uh, he said, you know... Uh, Saul's chasing me all over the all over the desert, and he's going to catch me sooner or later. And so I need to get out of here. And so he decided to go to Gath. Let me see if I can uh, read it for you. David thought to himself, "One of these days I will be destroyed by the hand of Saul. The best thing I can do is escape to the land of the Philistines. Then Saul will give up searching for me anywhere in Israel, and I will slip out of his hand." Okay, he's so desperate to get away from Saul that he goes, makes a bad choice and goes to an even worse place. I mean, Gath, I mean, these people are known for, you know, Satan worship and sexual orgies and just ruthless warfare, and, and these are his enemies. Uh, but that's, uh, that's where he goes. So David and the 600 men, so before he went there, you remember about, about 10 years earlier, he went there, but he was by himself. Now he's got 600 men and their families. And his men settled in Gath with Achish. Each man had his family with him, and David had his two wives, Ahinoam of Jezreel and Abigail of Carmel, the widow of Nabal. Now David has two wives. Remember, his first wife was Michal, and uh, Saul, when David fled, Saul took Michal and gave her to another man. Uh, so Saul stopped searching for him once he had gone there. So his plan worked. But uh, it, it wasn't a great place to live. He's the champion of Israel living among his enemies in the land of the Philistines. Uh, so he's weakened by a disobedience. Then we get to chapter uh, 28. In those days, the Philistines gathered their forces to fight against Israel. Achish said to David, you must understand that you and your men will accompany me in the army. David said, then you will see for yourself what your servant can do. Achish replied, very well, I will make you my bodyguard for life. So David's getting into a difficult situation now. He's being asked to go to, <coughs> go to war against Saul uh, and the people of Israel. That, that's who he lives for. He is an Israelite. Uh, because of his disobedience, he's kind of getting into trouble. So then uh, the kings uh, or the commanders of Achish army say, this is not, this is stupid. Uh, we can't trust David and his men. They'll turn against us in the middle of the battle. And so they told him to turn him back. And so here's what we read in 1 Samuel 29, verse 11. So David and his men got up early in the morning to go back to the land of the Philistines, and the Philistines went up to Jezreel. So they were turned back. Uh, Achish told David, your man can't fight with us. Well, then he was weakened by sorrow. Uh, we read in uh, 1 Samuel 30 that they got back to their town, Ziklag, 
And here's what we write. When David and his men reached Ziklag, they found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. You ever wept that hard? Or you, had, you couldn't cry anymore? You were so cried out. And so uh, it was sorrow. And then he was weakened by rejection. David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. So David had led them for all these years, and uh, they said, David's the one that got us in here. He's the one that decided to live in Gath. Uh, how stupid. Uh, he's the one that decided to leave our women and children alone and go off to war to fight against the Israelites. How ridiculous. And that's why we've lost our, our women. And so, uh, David, what's he going to do? David's in a tough place, and we read 1 Samuel 30, verse 6, but David found strength in the Lord his God. David's lost everything. His men are angry with him. He's lost his wife and his children. What's he going to do? He found strength in the Lord God. And that's really the counsel we get. How do you become a man after God's own heart? How do you become a person that pleases God? You find strength in God. Hope you have a great lesson. Study together. Use the journals together maybe. Uh, pray for each other. And I'll see you next week.